I am in the Gen Con right now, I'm about to leave the house. I'm going to try something new. I'm going to try taking my camera with me. So hopefully you guys can see a little bit of where I live. Not really doing anything exciting today, but oh well. It's a little bit rainy out today. Good thing I've got a trusty umbrella. And just an amazingly cool waterproof coat. Not very fashion friendly, but you know what? I don't care. Okay, I'm about to go out onto my street, which is pretty wicked amazing. And usually there's a bunch of traffic, but there's a little bit today. Yep. There's the uh, Jido Hanbaiki right across the street. Another car. Wow, a lot of traffic. So, we've got some lovely little gardens here. I'll just keep walking down this street. It's not very exciting, but you know what? That's okay, because I do this every day. More people with umbrellas. Can't really see me yet. So it's not just me. There are other people too. Lots and lots of umbrellaed people. In fact, people use umbrellas even when there's hardly any water. It's really kind of scary. I am approaching the infamous river. It's uh, kind of loud here because of all the traffic. But uh, I'm going to be getting to the bridge to get over the river, and uh, then you get to see the river that I'm always talking about, and that makes it flat just from watching fish, exciting stuff. So uh, we have to look right, left, and then right, and then we can pass. In uh, America, you look left, right, left, but uh, here we switch up a little bit, and here's the river. Haha! <laughs> Holy smokes, my umbrella. Yeah, so there's my umbrella. Exciting. Okay. But that's the river. It's kind of blurry. That's okay. Whoops. Quick tick for uh, crossing the street. When you're looking left, right, left in America, if you come to Japan, you're going to forget to look right, left, right. So what you do is you just look left, right, left, right at the end of the look and you're completely set. That's it. That's your quick fix until you just forget to look left first completely. And uh, you go back to America and then you get hit by a car because, you know, you're dyslexic and everything's great. I just realized that not only am I talking to myself, but I'm talking to myself in public, which is a bit of a step up from talking to myself alone in my room when nobody's home. I already get looked at weirdly because I'm foreign. So, I really don't care that people are staring at me because I'm talking to myself. Yes, even Miss Japan has a McDonald's, and actually here, they're pretty darn good. Uh, and this is my beautiful lunch. And all the lovely people who are eating here with me. You can't really see over the spider. Oh wait, you can. Okay, I'm done. I got an Eddie Soleil, which is basically a hamburger made of shrimp. It's actually pretty wicked good. So I would highly recommend it if you're ever in Japan. I don't sound old. Yeah, that's about it. I don't know if this is actually strange or not, but um, in Japan, they separate the garbage into uh, non burnable and burnable. So for my drink, I have to take the lid off, put that into the non burnable, throw away the liquids there, and then put the cup into the burnable. And I have no idea if you're going to find that interesting or not, but on here. So, one of the things that I really like about Japan is that you can either walk anywhere or take the train. And that's basically the two modes of transportation that you absolutely need. And um, that's it. I mean, you can drive a car if you want to. You can get a taxi if you want to. You can ride a bike if you want to, but you really don't need to. And um, another really cool thing is this little guy here. It's my little Suica. And um, 
instead of buying a ticket every time, you put a lump sum onto this card. You swipe it on this guy here, and then you swipe it on your way out, and it automatically deducts however much it would have taken to get to the place. So, uh, that's pretty cool. Saves me a lot of time, and actually a lot of money, believe it or not. So yeah, because useful. I'm now waiting on the train platform. It's a little bit loud, I know, but uh, it tells me when the train's coming, and I think it's coming now. to get where I'm going, so um, I'm not going to be filming much, just kind of chill on the train until I get there. So, um, this is the train. I am now in Shinoko, and this is my language school. It's a pretty awesome school. On the fourth floor, actually it's on the third and fourth floor, but uh, I take class on the fourth floor, so I'm just gonna say it's on the fourth floor. Yep, that's about it. I have got my test scheduled and I'm hitting it. Awesomely cool carpet, awesomely cool silver poster thing, and the stairs. <laughs> getting a little bit darker out. I'm almost at the famous river, so we can see that soon. And the river! Isn't it beautiful? It's amazing. I love it. On a clearer day, I'll show you fish. The wind's trying to pull my umbrella away from me. <gasps> the wind! It's gonna be worse when I cross the bridge. Hopefully it won't invert my umbrella again like the before, because that would suck. And uh, yeah, lots and lots of wind. When you're walking along the river or across the river, it makes like a wind tunnel. It's really, really windy. So, wind.